hello hello welcome back or if you're new here welcome to my channel i am glamour girl 98 where we discuss all things fashion sister locks and a bit of health so where have i been i've been gone for a minute you know life happens i think the last time i was on here i was kind of like talking about my baby is going to be going off to school so she will be going, uh, we'll be flying her down to school in about two weeks. So uh, we're gonna be official empty nesters. But anyway, I'll talk about that. Maybe I'll do a vlog on our travels to moving her into school. And um, for those of you who wanna know like what you should prepare for, like when you're moving a child like states away to start university. So as I was saying, life happens. And so um, I've had this stuff, like uh, some skincare items and um, something from Louis Vuitton. And I've done some shopping uh, that I want to share with you guys. But, and I've had this stuff for a couple months and I just haven't uploaded it yet or like hauled it. So I'm going to do it now. So the first thing I want to do, um, I want to talk about some skincare. Um, actually, I like talked to like on YouTube, Joy Morris Beauty. She is a great YouTuber and she has sister locks as well. Anyway, let me talk about the sister locks. So y'all can see I got me a little topsy going. Look at the fullness. I am, I am 18 months locked now. And my hair is like growing a lot. So, um, yeah, it's thick and it's dropping a lot. So, got that out of the way with the hair. So, now I'm going to talk about um, the skincare items. So, anyway, um, I correspond with or talk to like Joy, Mor Joy Morris Beauty. Follow her on YouTube and Instagram. Um, she's a vlogger that talks about her sister logs skincare and she's on a weight loss journey and joy she is doing fabulous she has two adorable babies out there as well so we talked about some um skincare products that i like and if you guys don't know i did practice in dermatology for sep for a couple of years as a nurse practitioner and so i'm kind of like a skincare junkie but some of the items that i've been using consistently now for about three years are the ordinary products. So I did um, go to Ulta. This was like around Mother's Day. So this is back in May, y'all. This is how long I've had this stuff. And I got some items from Ulta. First of all, I purchased um, some perfume. Like I like to shop for my perfume during like Mother's Day and Christmas because you always get the sets. And you can sample, you can buy like sample sets or buy a set for, you know, a little bit cheaper than what you would, like the individual items. So I did buy um, a Coach, um, it's a Croc Floor set. I ended up giving it to my aunt for Mother's Day. I bought my mother the um, Lancome La Vie Excel, I believe that's what I got her. And then I bought myself um, the Valentino Donna. Uh, perfume set and then I bought the new Marc Jacobs I think it's like perfect intense and perfect line I bought that I ended up giving it to my best friend for her birthday so anyway I bought a whole bunch of perfume the only thing I kept was uh, Valentino Donna for myself this has great reviews um, on it and this is the Born in Roma and it came with the I believe it's like a one point this is a 1.7 ounce and then it has the little uh, purse size spray. So I actually gave the purse size to my mom and I switched out the Lancome purse spray for myself. So um, this was $67 for this set. And so this Valentino. So I have that and then I have this that I tried. Oh, it's the Lancome Edol. That's what I bought, the Edol. So my mother has the full size of this and I took her travel size 
and I have the full size of this and gave her my travel size. So I have not used it yet, but like I said, I've heard great reviews about it. So I have that. And then my skincare products. Bye bye. Some empties that I have. So I had to re up and buy more stuff. This is the Ordinary Alpha Arbutin and Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Alpha Arbutin is really good for um, dark marks. It also helps with acne. Um, it's a serum, so it's nice and light. And the thing about the, their actives, they come like individualized. So these are the pure actives. You have to be careful when you're using them. You don't want to mix the wrong things. If you want a video about what you should layer, then um, go ahead and comment in the comment section and hopefully I can get a video up about that. So this is the uh, Alpha Arbutin. It's really good for acne and it's also good for discoloration. So I really like this. This is my third bottle of this since, when did the, yeah, that stuff, when did it start? It started in March of 2020. Yeah, I bought my first one in March of 2020 and this is my third one. Really like that. I have my niacinamide and zinc and this is really good for acne as well. Um, I do have uh, the occasional breakout from time to time, but this is really good. I use this like in the morning and I try to alternate these. Like I'll use one in the morning uh, one day and then one in the morning another day. I alternate between the two. Niacinamide is essentially vitamin B and it's very good at preventing and helping uh, with breakouts and it has zinc in it as well. Zinc is also very good for uh, problematic or acne prone skin. I used to recommend this to my patients as part of their skincare. And this is my third one of this. It really works y'all. It also helps with oil control production. So I like that a lot. And then I had been a little dry. I don't know what, what I had changed, but anyways, um, I did buy the plain uh, hyaluronic acid and B5. As you can tell, a lot of their products have the vitamin Bs in them. The vitamin Bs are excellent for skincare. Hyaluronic acid helps to boost the moisture in your skin. You can just mix this with any one of your moisturizers and just apply it to the skin morning and night. So those are the skincare products that I purchased. And then this is like a little bonus. So remember I told you guys about um, me going and dropping my wallet off to Louis Vuitton back in July of last year? Well, they just contacted me in, it's after Mother's Day, it had to be beginning of June for me to come get my wallet that they had had for like a year. So I finally got my wallet back. And they repaired it and everything for me. So yeah, just a nice little. And what had been defective was the snap here. The snap had messed up. So they had to repair it. So now it might works nice. And I miss my wallet. It's a trifold. So that. And because they took so long, they ended up giving me a few like little products. So that's that. So they ended up giving me their whole line of the new uh, Louis Vuitton Parfum Estrace. Extract, extract. And so they gave me uh, the samples of all of them um, that came out this summer. So you have uh, the Dancing Blossom, Symphony, um, Rhapsody, 
cosmic cloud and stellar times. I like all of these. Some of them um, I think are like more appropriate for maybe like getting towards fall, winter time. I don't know, but I guess you could wear them year round. You know, they're unisex, I would think. Um, they also gave my husband um, two like men's parfums. They were like this big. I don't see them over there. But yeah, they did give him some stuff, so. But uh, let me see what else I got. I went to my favorite store as well. And I had some products, some things from here. White House Black Market. I love me some White House Black Market. And I went to the store and I bought me two pairs of shorts. These are really cute. They're pull-on shorts. Now I'm in a size four. These run, I mean, like, if I lose, I mean, they're a little big, and if I were to drop about five pounds, they'd be a little bit too big on me. Um, and these were $44.99. They're size four. I got those. I thought those were cute. Well, they are shorts as well. These were $44.99. I got this cute tank. You can wear it either way. With the lace, let's see we have lace up in the front. Lace up in the front, or you can wear it flipped up. I think this was like about 30 or 40 bucks. Um, this cute sweater, this is a small, let me see, I think this is a small as well. This is a small, this sweater, I got it to go with either pair of the shorts, I think it would be nice to go with either pair of the shorts. Oh y'all, I got some new shoes too, I told you I haven't been on here in a while, and then this cute little tank. This was $34.50, got the little ruffle. Pretty, I think that'd be cute to wear. Okay, so I think all that I paid, uh, it was like $200 for that stuff. So um, I got that. I'm trying to think, what else did I get you guys? I told you, I, this is like a collective haul because I've just been gone for a while. I told you life happens and um, I'm working on some things and hopefully I will be sharing that with you oh, within about the next month or two. We'll get back to like some hair stuff too. I'm so, I'm so proud of the way my hair looks. Look at the bounce y'all, still for wear. Like I'm like the little girl, still for wear. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else I'm going to show you. Hold up. Okay. So you get a certain age and you want to be cute, but you want to be comfortable, right? So when I was growing up, my grandmother, she loved the naturalizer, right? She would go there and she'd get her shoes, her heels, and her Daniel Green house slippers. She had to spend money. She loved her Daniel Green house shoes. So um, I believe it was last year. Last year when we went to take my daughter for a campus tour, I had on some cute like, just some cute little $20 sandals, right? The thin so like walking. Let me tell you, I walked and my feet hurt. So we ended up going to uh, Dillard's, I believe, or Nordstrom. And I ended up getting some really cute thong sandals that were suede and they had the contour and everything. I was looking at Bionic. I was looking at, um, what is Bionic? I can't think of the, uh, gosh, it's two other like really comfortable, a little like, more expensive 
shoes, Clark's, Bionic, and this one starts with a P. But anyway, I was looking at those shoes and I stumbled across um, some from Nine West because they didn't have the Clark's or the Bionic's and Teva. Is it the Teva? The Teva sandals. They didn't have those in my size. So I ended up stumbling across some cute, really cute, like nude color sandals and they were from the Naturalizer. I put those on and they're like the fit, the, the sole, everything was right. So, and I felt like I was walking on a cloud. So anyways, I was on a search for new pair of sandals for this summer, cute dressy sandals. So I found these online from the Naturalizer and I got them in a size eight and a half because I have wide feet, short fat feet. And these are called Mallory Natural Leaf. And I think these were like $140. But anyway, y'all, these shoes, they're sexy. Look at that. Goes around the ankle, really pretty. Yeah, and I've got those. I thought those were cute for the summer. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I thought these are cute. And they look so sexy. Man. This is like a four inch cork heel. This is leather. This is that, that cork platform. So they are very sexy. Look good on it with a dress, with those shorts. Just look good, right? So that brings me to the end of this video. Um, like I said, stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing some exciting news with you guys, things that I'm doing in my life. Thought maybe I share them here via inspiration of someone else. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment below, tell me what you wanna see. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but like I said, I've been caught up trying to do some things, you know, so anyway, till next time, you guys. Bye-bye.